Hi, welcome to the Daffodil Dissection lesson uh, with Miss Abigail. I'm here in my kitchen, hoping that you're all staying safe and healthy. Today I'm going to teach you how to take apart a daffodil flower and what all of its little parts are called. I'm going to do this lesson to have a little workspace out. It's good to have some small scissors handy. Some tweezers, a magnifying glass to see the small parts, a pencil if your child is writing. These are some really great pencil sharpeners. And you see that I've already written some labels that I'll get to at the end of the lesson. First, we'll pick our daffodil. I just got these from Whole Foods, but you might be able to find daffodils on the side of the road. Here, we'll go with this one. First, I'm going to take off this thin, papery part at the back of the flower. This is the sepal. And what it does for the flower is it protects the bud. And the flower is a little baby, it protects it. Gently take it off around the base of the flower's neck here. Here we go. There's the little sepal. Now we'll take off the petals. The petals are really what a lot of people think of when they think of flower, right? Daffodils have six petals. There's one. Two, three, four. You can see my daffodil is a little bit old. And six, six petals. Starting to look a little different. This large part that encloses a lot of the inner workings of the flower here, that's the corona. Corona really just means crown. So compare to anything that looks like it has a bit of a crown. This one I'm going to carefully cut off. Very careful not to cut the things inside. Yes. So now we have the inside here. Let's take off this little bit. This daffodil is dropping a lot of pollen, right? Pollen off the top of its anthers. So we're going to take apart the inside here. There. Taking the stamens off. There are six of them, just like the petals. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, each one of these has at the top, it has the anther. The anther is where the pollen is, if you can see that. And then the long stalk that holds up the anther, that's the filament. The whole thing together is a stamen. Oops. Slippery. So, 
three, and I'm going to cut off the long stem like that here. Now we're working with the whole pistol. The pistol here in the top, and this is where the magnifying glass gets really handy, you can take a look and see that at the top of the pistol, you have the stigma, where all the pollen would come in and travel down, 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 into the ovary. The ovary holds the ovules, and when the pollen gets in there, it makes seeds, and then the seeds go on to make the flowers. So we can actually very gently get on in there and see the little ovules. may be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to see over video. So what I'm doing is just trying to remove the very outer layer of the ovary so that I can see inside and see the little ovules. They're very clear, very translucent, so it's very difficult to see. And again, that's why we like the magnifying glasses. Some flowers, they may be more pronounced on than other flowers. Ah, there, I finally found some. Not really sure how that's gonna come out, but they're right there. And if you use the magnifying glass, if you have one, you should be able to see the little individual circles. Once you have all of your pieces dissected, then you can label them. I spent some time earlier writing out my labels. My flowers didn't have any leaves, but I could do the label for leaf. I can label the corona can label the ovary, can label the neck of the flower, where the stem is, the ovules inside the ovary, the anthers, the pistil, the stamen, the sepal, the petal, and then all the filament, too. I also have a paper that I will send to my class, at least, but you can find this online for a spring flower parts of the daffodil. Here I've relabeled them in cursive. Online you'll find it in print. And I also have one that I've made blank so that uh, people can feel free to write their own terms in. Thank you for joining me for this lesson. See you again soon.